Good day. My name is Seminarian Joey Jerome Tagalaera from the parish of Nuestra Señora de Candelaria, Taizu Sudan. So these are some tips and a little information on how we should read the readings of the scripture during the Sunday service and what are the most uh, functional and important things that we must consider in order for our reading to be understandable and to be meaningful. So, what to do before the day? What are the fundamental things you need to consider and must do before the day when you read the scriptures? First, before you read the lectionary on Sunday, you should spend time praying. Through the passage, enlightenment and understanding and joy comes from God. He grants this as gift by the Holy Spirit. Ask God to inculcate the truth and beauty of the passage upon your heart. Number two, understand. You will be better to serve the congregation, the people of God, if you understand what the passage is saying. Reading commentaries about the reading is a great help. Work to understand it. This may mean using some resources like the Bible diary or the Sambuha. Number three, practice. You should plan to practice reading the passage daily. This practice should include reading aloud since you will be reading the passage aloud on Sunday. You want to do the, your best not to stumble over words or mispronounce them. If you come across difficult words that you aren't sure how to pronounce, search and find the help of Google by audio version to learn the proper pronunciation or much better, you may find it helpful to ask someone to give you feedbacks as you practice during the week. Number four, observe punctuation marks. Stop at periods and allow commas to break your pace. Number five, consider your tone. Remember the context. It would be inappropriate to insert a mood that does not reflect the passage. Similarly, in reading a passage like the Resurrection, one should not read like they are reading bad news. The Incarnation or the birth of Christ should produce joy. If you're reading a prophet words or rebuke or dialogue between Jesus and the Pharisees, it shouldn't sound the same as the passage of Annunciation. Number six, read with feelings. You should read with expression in your voice that reflects the passage. Number seven, but remember not too much feelings. You should avoid turning into dramatic reading of the scriptures. Number eight, don't use preacher's voice. Remember that you are trying to draw attention to the readings and not to yourself. This is not the time to try your good voice or favorite gesture like pointing to your hands to someone or things similar to that. Number nine, be careful not to swallow your words. Sometimes we have the tendency to trail off at the end of sentences and swallow our words. In general conversation, this make it difficult to hear and understand. On Sunday morning, people will miss your word altogether. Pronounce each word and follow punctuation. Number 10. When you conclude, don't forget to say the word of the Lord. How should we read? Number 1. Identify the book or letter where the passage comes from or the scriptural reference in the page number and the lectionary if possible. Something like this, for example. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Number two, give time and let the commentator read the commentary before beginning to read. Number three, 
mind the speed in reading. The tendency when we are nervous is to speed up. You want to read at a reasonable pace that gives people time to hear and consider the word. Remember to read slowly but clearly. What to do during the actual reading during Sunday morning? Letter A. Prepare yourself. Remember that you are going to stand before the congregation to read the Word of God. You are obviously not to be the focus of everyone's attention. So, it's important not to look in a way that will draw undue attention to yourself, like using big earrings, using big jewelry, and hairstyles that are not appropriate. Letter B. Hydrate. When nervous, our mouth often get dry. You can be proactive here by drinking water and limiting the intake of coffee or tea. Letter C. Use bookmark. Place a bookmark in the passage on Sunday morning when you are practicing so that you will have it ready when you go up to read. And finally, which is most important, pray. You should pray for our Sunday gathering every Sunday morning, but especially on the week 